What's up, Block Fam? Departing from lunch, swapped out bikes. We are on a stage two Indian Chief. So it's got this like nice little air cleaner upgrade on the side. It's got a nice exhaust. Looking forward to feeling this thing out. So what's cool is it has the drag bars, but the forward controls. Cleat. Well, somebody seems to have left a little GoPro mount. But that's Brandon's. Hey, Picasso. Is this yours? Yeah. It's mine now. <laughs> go, go, go. All right, let's hear this thing start up. Okay. Yeah. It's all sound. All right, and we're off. Okay, a couple things I'm noticing right off the bat. If you guys haven't watched those previous videos, be sure to go check them out. There's a lot of uh, feedback about these bikes in them, but I'll go ahead and treat this one like it's a brand new video for those of you that are tuning in to check out this bike specifically. Traditional. Ah, so nice. <laughs> yeah, that digital gauge in the center. Super nice. Based on ergonomics. Right off the bat, I can tell you this is probably one of my one of my favorite bikes that I've ridden this weekend. So I've ridden a good amount of the Indian Chief models. So, like I was saying, treating it just like a brand new video, even if you guys have seen those other ones, for those people that are specifically looking for this bike, left side, you've got your trigger switch, which we're gonna go through uh, regarding what it changes on the gauge. You've also got your horn, you've got your high beam, low beam, pass light, indicators, left, right, hazards, whenever you press and hold in, and then controls for the, uh, the gauge as well. I'm gonna throw it in neutral. Looks good. All right. <laughs> uh, right side, you've got your on off, well, I guess starter, and then your actual on switch, and then your starter, and then you've got your cruise control. I've been kind of getting used to cruise control on the right side. It's, it's interesting whenever you're pulling back, you turn it on, and then uh, I'm used to having cruise control on the left, but it actually kind of like makes sense having it on the right because you're holding back throttle and can just pull thumb up and boop, press it over and it activates cruise control. And you do have the indicator for cruise control there. Going over the gauge, you got all sorts of different options here. You've got like four different screens you can get to with the trigger switch here. So you've got the RPMs. Uh, if you swipe, it'll give you a different loadout. So you've got RPM still on the bottom and then speed, uh, gear indicator, fuel level, um, direction, odometer, and uh, temperature, ambient temp. So I like it in this mode though, which is RPMs on the outside, speed in the center, uh, gear indicator there still. So if we press it once, it serves the same function as pressing this button. It'll go to your next screen and tells you the temp, your battery voltage, fuel economy, current range with uh, the gas that you have in the tank, and um, what mode you're in, as well as the time. Press it again, this is, gives you your current ride information, uh, basically logs your ride's info, which is super cool, I like that a lot. And then press it again, and it goes over to GPS. Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and keep it in the RPM with the uh, Speedo. So regarding ergonomics, I am five foot 10 inches tall. Uh, Brandon Picasso is as well, and that's what he looks like on that one. Now, just imagine that, his stance on that, but with drag bars, instead of the, uh, the mini ape styles that like he has there. I've ridden a couple of the bikes and they'll, they'll have the drags, but they'll have the mids. It makes me feel super squished up because of the mid controls. Now the mid controls, they do allow you to feel like you're in a bit more control whenever you're like in some twisties and whatnot, which we've been hitting plenty of in this trip. However, with, I mean, I, I do understand that like having those mid controls makes you feel very in control of the bike. But we were hitting some of those twisties and I had a, one of the chief models with the forward controls and taller bars and I felt just as much in control. I was very comfortable with it, but I was actually probably more comfortable on that than I was with the mids, but that could just be personal, you know, personal kind of preference or whatever, like personal comfort. Yeah, so ergonomics on this thing, uh, it does feel kind of like uh, the Scout does, you know, with like the lower bars and the, uh, the forwards. It does put you in kind of that acute rider triangle shape. Probably not the best for distance, but you know, if you're looking to rip around town, it's one of those things like, yes, it can do it. Is it the best tool for the job? Probably not, but it just depends on 
what your willpower is, I suppose. Wow, that stage two makes a difference. Holy sh! Very nice. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be that noticeable of difference, but wow, that is, you can definitely feel it. So this is the 116 cubic inch, you know, it's got the stage two on it, which is the uh, slip-ons plus, I don't know if it has a different tune on it, but it does have this uh, air cleaner on the side, which is uh, different from most bikes that I'm used to riding cruiser-wise, usually has the uh, air cleaner on the right side, but conical air cleaner on the left side, and it just looks so good. I will say, with the forwards on it, I mean, having, having an air cleaner that sticks forward like that is usually meant for forward controls. Uh, my shin does touch it a little bit right here, but it's not bad at all. I mean, unless I'm like trying to hug the engine with my knees, like if you're really looking to like squeeze in and like hold on, uh, you would kind of have to like dip your foot back a little bit, like taking it away from the shifter. But yeah, that is a point of contact. Right side, yeah, you're totally fine. You're not on exhaust or anything like that. The slip-ons on this thing. Oh, they make it sound good. <laughs> Couple of brappy boys. <laughs> Brandon Picasso over here. You guys be sure to go give him a follow as well. He's uh, doing a couple videos. Obviously, he's uh, here on the Indian Press event with us. He's been getting lots of good footage, B-roll, drone shots, all that good stuff. Uh, and then Her Two Wheels is also with us. She's uh, in the back there somewhere. So you guys be sure to go check out their channels also. Oh, she's right there. <laughs> Saying she's with us. She's right beside me. Oh, so oh. <laughs> so the uh, power delivery, we're definitely like in sport mode right now. So if you want to change the mode, you just touch that little icon right there and then you can change the modes. So the responsiveness in sport mode, I mean really, really responsive. Great for like those twisties. We put in standard mode. You can see changes a bit. And then touring mode, uh, which is this one, it takes 100% uh, pullback to get 100% throttle. So for in-town stuff, you know, so standard is just fine. Whenever you're looking to ride more aggressively, uh, like we were doing in the twisties and stuff, man, like you're coming out of one of those corners and you're getting on the gas, sport mode is where it's at. I'm gonna leave it on sport mode because this is a stage two and there would just feel like a disservice, uh, you know, waste this opportunity of riding his bike um, <laughs> and leave it in regular mode. So to get back to the normal screen, you just either use the trigger or you tap that button again. So oop, trigger, back to the normal screen. Talking about ergonomics again, being in that like acute rider triangle and then this thing touching your leg, the seat on this thing is uh, different than the seats that I've had previously, which are like the normal solo seats. Uh, this one kind of has like a passenger pillion on the back, which actually is really nice because it's giving me like some lower back support which uh after you know a couple hundred miles on the other ones i find myself kind of like going over the back of that part of the seat sorry yeah going over the back part of the seat which uh, kind of ends up sticking into your tailbone and so with this one having that like little back piece it actually kind of keeps you locked in place which is really nice and like i said it offers that kind of lower back support really cool so yeah we're gonna continue riding for a bit and uh i think we've got about 50 or 60 miles or so and uh we'll kind of montage it a little bit in between and then we will come back uh whenever we're getting closer to sedona which is our destination and I'll give you guys my kind of final thoughts. These are just my first initial thoughts. Like I said, I've ridden a couple of the other Indian Chief models. This is my first time on this one though. I'm telling you, loving this configuration with the, uh, the drags and the forwards, stage two, digital gauge, performance feels really good. The only downside is, <laughs> whoo, no getting away from the wind, especially since we're going like highway. Oh well. All right, Manta Sam.
right guys, so it's funny because what this bike is basically not built for, we've just done just straight up highway, interstate, uh, and then, I don't know if you guys saw, I don't think I got it on video, but there was a sign that said that there was gusts of wind between like 30 and 40 miles an hour, so it might sound a little windy in this recording because the wind has picked up significantly from whenever we left lunch. Yeah, I think we've got a little over 60 miles and you know, we, we did get some longer sweepers and they're nothing too technical, but um, one thing I did notice is, uh, I don't know why, the suspension on this one does feel a little bit different. Um, I think it feels a little different as compared to what I was riding earlier because uh, the bumps that I'm hitting on this bike, uh, we're hitting them at speed, you know, so what I mean by that is like, you know, highway speeds. And so they don't feel as, um, like the bump doesn't feel as like impactful. Uh, but I think it's because we're kind of gliding over faster versus like the bikes that I was on earlier, the other Chiefs, um, we were going a little slower in like some of the canyons and whatnot. And so those bumps from those roads, uh, because we weren't going like highway interstate speeds, transferred a little differently. Anyways, what I can say about this bike um, is that, yeah, I'm a big fan of the performance of it. Um, you know, with the stage two on it, it is a noticeable difference in the throttle response uh, especially while getting off the line uh, it is way more grunty it just wants to like pull you even more which is absolutely great whenever you're coming to a stop or, like slowing down it's got this really nice kind of garbly decel the positioning of it obviously like I was saying not really meant for what we're doing right now in terms of highway interstate stuff but uh, I mean it's bearable you just kind of you know grip onto the grips and pull back on throttle and grit and bear it I'm really glad I got to experience this one though really a big fan honestly if I was gonna scoop one up I mean even though it has six gears you know it's a six-speed transmission uh, if I were looking for a bike to do some distance I would probably look uh, not into the chief line uh, because they consider this light touring I would probably look into their more like solid heavy touring line just because you know you're gonna get like a, a larger fairing more wind resistance, a couple more options, bigger screen for like navigation and stuff like that. You know, if you're looking to go cross country or whatnot. I did have a bike very similar in ergonomics to this one that I took down to the Keys, which I mean, that's a pretty decent trip. But overall, I mean, your, your back is definitely gonna feel it. And then with all the wind to the chest and the helmet, the arms and all that stuff, uh, yeah, it's gonna, you're gonna get tired pretty quick if you don't have anything to kind of block the wind for you. So what is the application? I mean, that's that's what I would buy it for. I would buy it for like just kind of more of a local, but like within, yeah, probably like 200 miles or so. That's just me. Like I said, if you guys want to take this thing across the country, you totally can, but uh, the bike will do it. <laughs> it's just a matter of willpower and if, if you're able to do it or if you want to do it. So my biggest criticism, it's probably lean angle, you know, it's pretty much been the, the biggest criticism. I always try to offer a criticism in my test rides, but yeah, criticism would probably be the lean angle. I wish it was like, uh, I wish there was more of a lean angle, but you know, it's a cruiser. It's not an FTR. It's not a sport bike. So, uh, you know, if I guess if you want more lean angle, look towards the FTR. Other criticism would probably be suspension does feel a little stiff in some areas, but like on today's ride, it wasn't that bad. The other uh, criticism that I would have is maybe the seat. Not the most comfortable thing, but not the most uncomfortable thing either. It's kind of like in the middle. Um, you know, my, my lower back is feeling it. Obviously the positioning is gonna make you feel a certain way as well. So that's entirely up to you to decide on what your comfort is. I'm sure there'll be uh, some seat options where you can upgrade that comfort. So that has been my thoughts and opinions on the Indian Chief here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stage two, really awesome to be able to try out a stage two. Uh, didn't expect that they would have that for like a uh, the press event. So really appreciate it. Big thanks to Indian Motorcycles. If you guys uh, want to go check them out, check out the link down in the description below. And uh, if you guys want more specs on this bike, like I said, be sure to check out the link down in the description also. If you guys have any questions on it though, be sure to post up down in the comments. Let me know. I'll answer to the best of my knowledge. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the bell icon so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, ride safe, stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.